Hello people of the interweb. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be baking a chocolate cake. So without further ado, let's get into the cake. What you'll need. One and a half cups of brown sugar. Half a cup of butter. Or margarine. A teaspoon of vanilla. Two eggs. Four tablespoons of cocoa. Half a cup of water. Half a cup of milk or cream, it'll just make it richer. One tablespoon of lemon juice for souring the milk or cream. One and a half cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of baking soda. A small mixing bowl for your dry ingredients. A large bowl to cream your butter and brown sugar. sugar to mix your ingredients together. and a casserole dish or cake pan to bake your cake. First what you want to do is put your warm water into the microwave for in 15 second increments until it begins to steam. So next what you want to do is take your 4 tablespoons of cocoa and put it in your water. Give it a stir. Oh, it's completely mixed in. So the next step is to sour your milk or cream. Uh, so pour it in there. Make sure you're on a flat surface so you can tell. Okay. So after you do that. A tablespoon of lemon juice. Vinegar works as well, but uh, I can't stand vinegar. Then just let that sit and sour. And so the next step is to combine the one and a half cups of flour, the teaspoon of baking soda, and the half teaspoon of salt. So if you're like us and you have a one cup measuring cup in your flour container for the half part, just guess and make sure you use a knife to level it off. Here before your guessing will come in. Yes. Pull it fine with a little extra flour if you put too much. Next is the teaspoon of baking soda. And in case you spill, make sure you do it over. It's fine. Okay, so last for this is the half teaspoon of salt. And now I need to mix it. Let's do it with a whisk or a spoon. It doesn't really matter as long as it's kind of mixed. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is combine your butter or margarine and your brown sugar. No, not the whole thing. About one cup. Okay. This is another guessing thing. Next is the butter from margarine. Make sure it's softened. So you can leave it out. Uh, you can even leave it out overnight. 
if you want, if you're, you know, you're making it. Cream, your brown sugar, and butter together. Probably on about like medium, maybe slower. Just as long as it doesn't get everywhere. Okay, so once that's all creamed, Add a teaspoon of vanilla and mix that in. And I'm going to recruit help uh, to add in the eggs one at a time because I need to be beating. water and cocoa mixture and you'll need to beat it slowly. Add in the milk or your cream. Don't be alarmed if there's chunks in it. your cake pan. Apologize for not saying that you needed cooking spray. And you also want to have your oven heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. It should bake for approximately 20 minutes, but it, the time does depend on your oven. So once your cake is done, you can just take it out of the oven and let it cool. And once you're done, you can also decorate it, and we'll show you how we do that. Once your cake is all cool, just Sprinkle a little bit of icing sugar over the top and enjoy. So I guess after you have your icing sugar on it, you can cut it however you want. So we're going to cut it into about nine pieces. Twice or multiple times to make sure that it's not stuck together. I get more than you bargained for. And also, run your knife along the edges uh, to make sure that your cake isn't stuck. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you make this cake or if you want to make the cake. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.